All right, here we go. Chip King, the DreamWorks machine, 1970 Dodge Charger. Here comes Chip, and going side by side with Fort Lauderdale, Florida's own Mike Stavrinos. Oh, Mike, get down with your bad self. Wow, what a burnout. Stavrinos heating him up on the right-hand side. Part of the Mike Janis Supercharger. Great contracting team because he's speed and truck world on the side of that car. And Fort Lauderdale, Florida, that is very close to where I grew up. And this speed and truck world brand is like the dominant speed show and shine shop for cars and, of course, trucks. And Mike and his fam have run it and been involved in many different styles of racing and has come to the National Hot Rod Association here in 2024. Caught up with him a little bit early this season. He says it's a new challenge. They are great racers. They know how to get it done. Uh, but then they're with great people right now with the Janus family. Over on the other side of the racetrack, Chip King. Brand new race car from Jerry Haas Race Cars. And they're learning the car, learning the chassis. Told me an interesting story a little bit earlier today I thought was amazing. Chip is a legend, of course. He's been driving Jerry Haas cars over his career. Bought this car 30 years to the day that he got his first ever Jerry Haas race car. Just a total coincidence, like a random number. 30 years to the day, but it was definitely noteworthy. So we'll see how the DreamWorks Motorsports machine can do on the left-hand side of the racetrack. Chip King, Mike Savarino's second pair, Congruity HR Pro Modified, presented by Learn EV Plus. All right, Savarino's clean to 60 feet. Now he's off the throttle. Chip King getting out through there, close to the wall. Chip King, 574, 3, 247. 247.61 miles an hour. And that is your top speed of the meet so far, Chip King. Number one qualifier, Pete Farber, number two, and Mike Stavrinos, 875-3103. Stavrinos was 976 to the 60 foot, 269 to 330. And at that point, something wasn't right, and he gave up on it. And so Mike Stavrinos with the Speed and Druck World machine. He's got a number on the board, just not the number they were looking for. 